Grant Nichols, Huntsville Doppler. This is our town. The Huntsville train station. Once a scene of hustle and bustle, steamships, sawmills, the tannery, tourism, people coming and going, anticipating hugs and hellos, and regretting the tears and goodbyes. But always about the journey. Being here reminds me of growing up on Ferry Avenue with neighbors like Don Locke, Bazit Hutchison, Cliff Snell, Wally Johns, and of course, Huntsville's own gentleman, Ray Porter. Yep, there I was in my basement with my engineer cap and my electric train and passengers that I would do almost anything for, including jumping the train with my evil Knievel motorcycle, a favorite amongst my riders. Then the excitement when my dad told me that we would ride the train to the West Coast. Riding, eating, and sleeping on a train all the way to the mountains was more than my seven-year-old imagination could handle. Remembering stories from men like Ernie Crooks, as a young man hopping on a boxcar and riding the rails coast to coast of this beautiful country. The excitement that I saw in my own boy's eyes when they boarded the Ontario Northlander destination Gravenhurst to be picked up by their grandpa. I don't know what it is about trains. Maybe it's the constant motion. You know, I often wonder how many people arrived in Huntsville for the first time, wandered up the hill and into the Bayview Hotel for a cold draft standing out on the back deck, overlooking Hunter's Bay. <laughs> I hear the train a-coming. Oh no. That's right. The train doesn't stop here anymore. Grand Nichols, Huntsville Doppler. This is our town.